Hello guys, my name is DZ Studios and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the finale of the show Daleks that's been coming out over the past five weeks and I've been reviewing it weekly. This time we see that the two remaining Daleks after last week's massacre and the only two that remain, the strategist and the emperor, have come back to Skaro. Because of this episode, I've actually learnt what I don't like about the series. It's taken five weeks, but I finally got to that point. We'll, t we'll talk about the episode in general before we get to that. So, the show itself looks lovely, and this week, unlike most other weeks, I haven't found any issues with things such as lighting or animation. Overall, it's been quite good. There is one or two shots that I do not like though. The first shot when you see the ship crash into the ground looks like video games when they phase through the floors when they're broken or glitched. That is what that ship looks like. There is very little particle effects and all that kind of stuff because of the, the cheapness of the show. So that really let down the shot itself because it would have been a lovely shot with all that kind of stuff and the noise and all of that, it just didn't work and I just sat there going, oh, come on guys. But going back to something that I do like, I do like the look of Scaro. It's really lovely. I think it's because it's like a, a scan basically that's been texturized from the show itself. So because that is obviously CGI, so really it wouldn't be that complicated to make a, uh, a 3D model of it probably because it's already a 3D model. I really love, in a very ironic way, the shots when you see the Daleks sco scooting past <laughs> as they head towards Skaro. When this battle, when the final fight started happening, I realised what I didn't like, and that thing was that all the fights have no fluidity to them. Everything that they do in the show has a very little fluidity because everything is quite robotic and restricted because the animation is has to be restricted. With an actual fight scene, you get a lot of movement and stuff like that. And with this, none of, the, none of their fight scenes throughout the whole series have felt like they've had a lot of momentum and a lot of attack to them because they've been rather stationary. If you watch the, the battle um, in this episode, all of the Daleks are sitting still shooting from one point. The mechanoids are doing the same and the mechanoids blasts have very little like in terms of accuracy like there's this bit when the strategist is literally getting the full thing into his face and it's not clearly not hurting him and it's like directly hitting him and going past him you just have a cluster of daleks yelling exterminate mechanoids yelling zero while firing beams at each other or puffs of orange smoke at each other and there's no fluidity to that now there have been exceptions to this rule i think episode two had you know a bit of movement to it and things like that and that was quite interesting um, to watch, but I think that for the most part, a lot of the scenes and the way that they're set up are designed to be stationary. Two people, two Daleks or two whatever, stand there, talk to each other, and then they move on to the next scene. I always feel like for the whole series and this episode that everything is restricted by money and just general time as well, because this only started coming into fruition around May time. So they've done a 50-minute animation, and it takes absolutely years for films to be made. You know, not just stop motion films, but animation, 3D animation kind of stuff. They take absolute years, so they must have like fast tracked the whole thing. So no wonder the, you know, the fight scenes are a little bit stationary. But in the end, everything gets tied up. Well, more or less. I think that is going to tie into things like Defender of the Daleks. But maybe there's another series that they're planning for next year or the year after, perhaps. Something like that, maybe, I don't know, to be honest, my narrative um, understanding of Time Lord Victorious is pretty weak. Uh, but overall, for this entire series, judging it by itself, I think it's had some really good moments and it's been very creative with how it's had to make an animation. I do applaud them for their ambition in making a series that is on the, on the cheap and simply there for fans to enjoy week by week and things like that. Because not many fandoms give you shows that just little side extras and stuff like that especially when over the last couple of months we have had very little doctor who stuff you know um concerning the actual series i know they're filming and we've had a trailer for revolution but the point being that those little nuggets of exciting stories from different perspectives and stuff simply don't happen at the end of the day i would have preferred to have a series of da called daleks that was all about individual stories with a loose connection which is like what i thought they were going to go for and like i said last week they have five episodes and yet three of them have been dedicated to the mechanoids so what did you think of the daleks series as a whole did you enjoy it did you think it was rubbish? There's a lot of talk about things such as a DVD release and stuff, and I'm not quite sure how about how that would work or what they'd put in there, because it couldn't be a 50-minute thing to justify a price of a, a Blu-ray or a steelbook. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you soon.